Scientists recently performed experiments where they were able to communicate with people who were dreaming, forming a link between the waking reality and the world of dreams. Now, this communication with dreamers included math problems, which they were able to solve in dream. And one group of dreamers were able to decipher Morse code and reply to the waking world in real time. The researchers said, our experimental goal is akin to finding a way to talk with an astronaut who is on another world, and it's exciting to try something that is seemingly impossible. We can now actually investigate the dreaming state directly and interactively. Let's talk about the blurring of waking reality and the dream world, and what it means for existence. Hey, if you're new here, my name is Morg, and we're here to wake up humanity to the truth of reality. So make sure that you subscribe right now, because when you do, you're helping us change the world by spreading this information. So hit it now. The dreamers that the researchers were able to communicate with are lucid dreamers. Now, normally, while you're dreaming, you don't know that you're dreaming. You think that it's real. Well, a lucid dream is a dream in which you realize that you're dreaming while you're in the dream. And this is an amazing experience, to say the least, where you can become the god of your own world and potentially do whatever you please. Yes, even that. About 55% of people have experienced a lucid dream at least once in their lifetime, and it's often so incredible they remember it for the rest of their lives. Now, even though lucid dreams rarely occur on their own, lucid dreaming is a skill that you can teach yourself with practice. And even though many people experience lucid dreaming, it wasn't proven until 1975 by Dr. Keith Hearn. Before that, many experts believed that lucid dreaming was impossible, and they thought that lucid dreamers were making it up or that they were delusional. Dr. Hearn was able to gather evidence for lucid dreaming by tracking the predetermined conscious eye movements of a sleeping lucid dreamer. So in the recent experiments, how were the researchers able to establish real-time communication with lucid dreamers? Well, the lucid dreamer, while they were asleep, is provided some kind of external stimulus. Now, this could be something as simple as the researchers asking them a question while they're sleeping, like, do you like chocolate? Or it could be the physical stimulus of tapping a math problem onto the skin of their body. Or one team actually used a series of beeps to communicate Morse code. The lucid dreamers then responded through their eye movements. They can roll their eyes to one side or the other to respond with yes or no. Or in the case of the math problem, even roll their eyes to the left four times to signal that the answer is four. One of the most fascinating aspects of all this is that the external stimulus often incorporates itself into the dream narrative. The participant might hear the question that's being asked by the scientist coming through a radio in their dream. Now, you can experience something like this phenomenon for yourself. They have lucid dreaming masks that have red LED lights built inside of them, and they will come on during your deep sleep cycle. So lucid dreamers will train themselves to look for this red light in their dreams to remind them that they're dreaming. And they'll often report that this light incorporates itself in the dream, which means that they might see the red light coming from an ambulance or a police car or the setting sun. The truth is that there is a fine line between the world of dreams and the waking world, and that line is being blurred all the time. Anyone that's ever experienced a hallucination? Well, they're actually experiencing their inner dream world leaking into the outer waking world. The dark side of the crossing of the inner and outer worlds has been experienced by anyone that's had sleep paralysis. And sleep paralysis occurs when someone finds themselves in bed with their eyes open, but they're completely paralyzed, unable to move their body. An indescribable and overwhelming terror will overwhelm them as a nightmarish shadow creature appears in their room. And no matter how hard they try, they can't even scream. And I've experienced this myself countless times. Now, for hundreds of years, it was thought that sleep paralysis episodes were actually malevolent demons attacking their victims. But what are dreams and why do we dream? And why is the veil between waking reality and dream reality so thin? Is it possible that humanity is completely in the dark about what dreams 
actually are? For hundreds of years, humanity thought that sleep paralysis was caused by demons. So what if humanity is just as wrong today about what dreams are in general? Science has explored the Earth, sent rovers to Mars, and have peered at distant galaxies, but they are absolutely baffled by the world of mind and dreams. They can't explain it. And the reason why science can't understand dreams and subjectivity in general is because they falsely believe that the world is made of material particles. The fact is that matter is just as much of a fiction and an outdated idea as the sleep paralysis demons. There is a reason that the veil between waking and sleeping is so thin, and that reason is because the so-called waking world is much more like a dream than you think. Socrates said, How can you determine whether at this moment we are sleeping and all our thoughts are a dream, or whether we are awake and talking to one another in the waking state? In fact, many of the greatest philosophers in history thought that reality was a dream or was generated by mind, and so did many of the pioneers of quantum physics such as Max Planck and Erwin Schrödinger. The philosopher Schopenhauer said, Life and dreams are the pages of the same book. And the universe is a dream dreamed by a single dreamer where all the dream characters dream too. I know that you felt like this world isn't quite real and that there's something not right, but you just can't put your finger on it. And that's because this world is not what you think it is. Why do you think that simulation theory is so popular? It's because people are beginning to realize that something is very wrong, that the world that they've been told isn't quite the way that they've been told that it is. But the world isn't a simulation. That's a simplistic idea, and it doesn't explain anything fundamental. The truth is far more grand, far more amazing. And the truth is that reality, it's not physical at all, but a shared mathematical dream. And that's why scientists can interact with dreamers in their dream world, because the so-called waking world and the dream world are actually the same substance. If they weren't the same substance, no interaction would be possible due to the unbridgeable gap of Cartesian dualism. And material reductionism is also impossible. The absurd claim that dreams are somehow an epiphenomenon of matter is a literal, logical impossibility. The only difference between the dream world that you inhabit when you go to sleep and the waking world is the number of dreamers. When you dream at night, there's only one dreamer. You. But the waking world that we all inhabit, this is a collective dream. It's our dream. It's the dream that we're all having together. And that's why things are stable in the objective world, and why you can't change something just by thinking about it. Well, it's because it's not your dream to change. It's our dream. Look around you. The world, it's crazy. It's absurd. And it's so obviously a dream that once you finally consciously realize it, you'll wonder how you could have possibly missed it. But the fact is that you always think that the dream world is the real world. So why would this be any different? When you're asleep and dreaming, you don't know that it's a dream. You think it's real. So is it any wonder that you take this world to be real? You only realize that the dream is a dream if you become lucid. Then it's obvious that you're dreaming. You wonder how you could have ever thought otherwise. Well, are you ready to become lucid now? To realize that this is a dream? The Mysterious Stranger by Mark Twain reads, You are not you. You have no body, no blood, no bones. You are but a thought. Strange indeed that you should have not suspected that your universe and its contents were only dreams, visions, fiction. Strange because they are so frankly and hysterically insane, like all dreams. You aren't your body. Your body, it's just an avatar. It's just a dream character. Your so-called physical body isn't you. Just like the dream body that you inhabit when you sleep isn't you. What you truly are is a mathematical system of energy, an eternal living mind. As an eternal mind, you're always tuned into some kind of dream. You're either tuned into your own personal dream world or the objective collective dream world, the so-called waking world. This video, what you're watching right now, is a catalyst trying to get you lucid. Just like the LED mask that sleepers wear to prompt them to become lucid, 
This is the prompt. Here it is. So are you going to recognize it? Are you going to realize the dream that you, we, all of us are having right now? Or are you going to let the mundane world of nine to five jobs, Netflix, and mindless consumerism lull you back to sleep? Schopenhauer said there are long dreams and short dreams. The short dreams that you have when you go to sleep at night and the long dream of the universe. The Big Bang was the moment that this collective dream began. It was the start of the long dream. The problem is that the long dream has become a nightmare. There's violence and racism, homophobia, sexism, hunger and death everywhere. But once the world becomes lucid, we can change this world from a nightmare into a brilliant dream. We are a movement of those minds that have become lucid to what reality truly is and we're here to wake up the world. If you're one of the sleepwalkers, then this isn't for you. But if you're someone that feels there's something very wrong with the way things are, if you want to leave old sleeping humanity behind, then join us and become part of a new lucid humanity whose eyes have opened. Come on, ditch this boring, mundane life. Dream a better dream. None of this is a faith or some kind of belief. We are the champions of logic and reason, and we have the mathematics that proves that this is true. Check out my other videos for more information and help us wake up the world right now by sharing this video and subscribing. A big shout out to all my supporters on Patreon who make this possible. Help me create by supporting on Patreon and you'll get access to our secret weekly live streams. My name is Morg and I am Hyperion. Hail, Nutera.